Hello everyone, welcome to Anvi Hearing. Today, let us discuss what care can we take when speaking with parents who have hearing loss. When communicating with parents or loved ones who have hearing loss, it's important to make some adjustments to ensure effective communication. Here are some tips to keep in mind. Get their attention. Before speaking, make sure you have their attention. Approach them from the front, make eye contact or gently touch their arm to signal that you want to communicate. Face them directly. Position yourself in front of them, ensuring that your face is well lit and visible. This allows them to see your facial expressions, lip movements and gestures which can help in understanding. Speak clearly and at a moderate pace. Speak clearly but avoid shouting or exaggerating your speech. Speak at a moderate pace and avoid mumbling. Keep in mind that shouting can distort sound and can make it harder for them to understand. Use gestures and facial expressions. Incorporate gestures, facial expressions and body language to enhance your communication. These visual cues can provide additional context and can help convey your message more effectively. Reduce background noise as much as possible as it can make it challenging for individuals with hearing loss to focus on your voice. Move to a quieter area or turn off or lower the volume of competing sounds like the TV or radio. If they don't understand something you said, try rephrasing your statement rather than repeating it. Using different words or providing additional context can increase the chances of comprehension. Utilize visual aids such as written notes, text messages or captions to supplement verbal communication. These can help reinforce important information or provide clarity when needed. Communication with individuals with hearing loss may take more time and effort. Be patient, understanding and supportive. Allow them time to process and respond to what you have said. Encourage them to ask for clarification if they didn't understand something or need you to repeat. Active participation in the conversation can help them feel involved and engaged. Remember, effective communication is a two-way process, so it's essential to listen attentively and be responsive to their needs and preferences. Additionally, consider encouraging them to seek professional help from an audiologist for a comprehensive hearing evaluation and appropriate management strategies. For more information, visit our website which is www.anvihearing.com or book an appointment with us for a free hearing evaluation or call us at 96 5839 5839